हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू वेरी शेयर यू सपोर्ट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट समथिंग विच इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ ग्रामर आई कैन से विच इज लिटल डिफिकल्ट और कन्फ्यूजिंग फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स एंड दे कीप आस्किंग मी वॉट एग्जैक्टली और विच फॉर्म ऑफ द एग्जेक्टिव दे हैव टू यूज नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कंपेरेटिव एंड सुपरलेटिव फॉर्म्स ऑफ एग्जेक्टिव एंड एडवर्ब्स so when we say that this comparative and the superlative forms of adjectives and adverbs so the very first concept which should be clear in your mind is what are adjectives and adverbs so adjective is a word which modifies or describes either a noun or a pronoun so when you say it's an adjective it has to modify only two things nouns or pronouns then the next one is adverb so a adverb is a word or a phrase which can modify a verb verb phrase adjective or another adverb right so adverb will modify four things whereas a adjective will modify only two adjective modifies nouns and pronouns a so adverb modifies verb verb phrase adjective and another adverb so four things we have comparative and the superlative forms of adjectives so comparative form of adjective or adverb we use when we are comparing either two people two things or two actions superlative forms will use when we are comparing more than two that is Three, four, or any number, but definitely more than two. So that's the time we'll use a superlative form of adjective or a adverb. Let's have a look at the rules of comparative and superlative form. The very first thing which I want you to know is between. Now, between is generally used to compare only two things. So between is used only when you're comparing two things, right? So you'll say between you and I, or between you and me. Come on, tell me. Yes. so this is a confusion for most of the students most of the students i get the answer like between you and i but it it is never you and i i is the subject pronoun and me is the object pronoun between is a preposition so after the preposition you'll always have the object of preposition so you'll always have a object pronoun over here so it will always be between you and me so next next thing which we'll discuss about is first rule which is related to our comparative and the superlative forms of adjectives whenever we are comparing two things that time we'll use the comparative form of the adjective the comparative form of adjective will end with er or it will also have some things like preceding that will have more or less so it will either end with er or before that adjective you will have more or less when you are comparing two things so like soft softer softest beautiful more beautiful most beautiful so then you are comparing two things or three things right so when you are comparing two you will say more beautiful or softer when you are comparing two softness of two items the next one is comparing three or more that will require est or st or it will have sometimes most or least before that particular word adjective right so that is like as i told you good better best so best is ending with est soft softer softest softest is ending with est beautiful more beautiful most beautiful most beautiful when you are comparing three or more that time most will be there before the superlative form of adjective we put the also that's because that's only one now here sometimes students like no they get confused whether we should use er or est or i should use more or most very simple rule i'll say that when you pronounce a word and that word has got single syllable that time we'll use either er right or est if this word is of more than one syllable in that case we'll use more or most like very simple just now i told you soft right soft is the word which is like uh, just single syllable or good single syllable so what you will say soft softer softest right so just we are adding er and est because it's a single syllable word however if i say beauty full two syllables intelligent two syllables are there so what i'll say intelligent more intelligent most intelligent the reason i'm putting more and most because intelligent is two syllable word so i hope this concept is clear now for you now we discussed about between we use between when we are talking about or when we are comp- uh, it's between two right we used to compare two things or when we talk about two then when we are talking about more than two right so that time we have to use among among is used to compare more than two things then we'll say the comparative and the superlative forms of adverbs i initially told you what are adverbs adverbs are the words 
which modifies or describes the verb verb phrase adjective or another adverb before that let's have a look at one more example in a sentence form where they have used the adjectives the superlative and the comparative form of the adjectives in a wrong way let's have a look at it it says between the lion and the tiger the tiger is the most fierce and most strong the next one is between the lion and the tiger the tiger is fierce and the most strong so now here the mistake is there they are they are comparing only two lion and tiger only two are there so definitely you cannot use most over here in the second sentence they have used the fierce and the most again most is a superlative which we use when we are comparing three now here they are comparing only two so you cannot use the superlative degree of adjectives so the right thing will be between the lion and the tiger the tiger is the fiercer and the stronger so i hope the concept is clear let's move to the next adverbs so when we talk about the comparative forms of adject adverbs and superlative forms of adverbs so comparative adverbs are used to compare two actions let's have a look at it so when you say i plan my attacks more carefully than you so it's the comparison between how i plan my actions and how you plan your actions so only two are there i move faster than you again the comparison is between how i move and how you move so that's the reason we have used faster and more carefully faster and more carefully got it now next one superlative forms of adverbs are used to compare three or more actions right remember that now when you are comparing three actions the first one can say i plan most carefully of all so you can see three are there right so it will be most carefully or i move fastest or i can say i feel saddest how you feel sad so saddest of all three fastest of all three most carefully more carefully as come most carefully that means out of how carefully the other two are planning better than that right so i hope this helps you to clarify your doubts and concepts related to superlative and comparative forms of adjectives and adverbs stay tuned If you have liked the class if you have understood the concept please like and do comment uh, put in the comment section uh, like if is there any other doubt related to this particular concept you can just ask me over there or one more suggestions i would suggestion i would like from you all is which concept you want me to make a video in the next series right so any concept related to grammar anything which you find it difficult to understand just share it in the comment box we'll see if we can help you out with helping clearing your doubt related to that concept thank you